So let's go ahead and do the part um, of task date provider dot g dot dot. Um, so before we actually start, let's go ahead and watch this. Before we actually start, let's go ahead and watch this. All right. So I think oh, we're already watching. So um, let me go ahead and add my river pods. And let's start. Let's go ahead and start. So the first one we add will be for the date. All right. So for setting the date, and that would be let's call that a date. So it would be something like date provider. All right. So well, let me call that task date extends underscore dollar sign task date. So then we override and we want it to be a date time. All right, a date time. Let's see, um, built. And at first, that will return. Let's make it nullable. So at first, it will be null. All right, so. That is your initial state, no. And then we also have, we should also have a function to set the date. So let's say um, change date. All right, that should take a date, a date time date. All right, let's put that in there and um, state will be equal to the date. All right, and let's go ahead and also import pods annotations and let's save that file and see watch it change it also we also need a reef reset let's see reset it should simply set the state to be equal to null all right so that should work let's go ahead and do the same thing for the start time so we start with at river pod no don't class task start time extends it will extend this you simply go ahead and go ham on it override date sorry about that date time right build starts of as null void change time date time date at the when we receive that we take the state to be equal to the date all right so after that we also have reset so let's save that and since we're also just going to be doing the same thing let's repeat that and this time make it end time task end time So over here we're also going to have task end time as well so let's save that generate file um regenerate the file we can see them over here so let's go ahead and um, use them in our, um, our actual 